Welcome to Whole Blood Clotting Assays, Rotational Thromboelastometry. We have the following take-home points. The Rotem instrument performs thromboelastography and measures the kinetics of whole blood clotting. In Rotem, the pin moves, not the cuff. Principal assays are Intem, Heptem, Extem, Fibtem, and Aptem. The thromboelastometry device consists of a platform with a chamber, heating element, and a disposable cup filled with citrated whole blood. The blood sample is placed in the chamber and a detection pin is inserted into its center. In Rotem, the pin oscillates, not the cup. As blood clots, the pin's movement is recorded through a detector as a function of time. At first, the pin moves freely. The resulting straight line is the clotting time which measures the start of the assay to the first detectable clot formation at two millimeters amplitude. As clotting proceeds from an amplitude of two to 20 millimeters, this interval is called the clot formation time. Then clot formation proceeds to its maximum amplitude, the maximum clot firmness. The angle between the reaction time and the point of maximal clot formation is the alpha angle. As fibrinolysis proceeds, the curve amplitude decreases and the lysis index at 30 minutes is measured. Lysis proceeds until the reaction ends and the pin moves freely again. Thus, thromboelastometry measures clot initiation, clot propagation, and fibrinolysis. The Rotem device is like the TEG device in that they both measure the ability of whole blood to clot. They detect changes in whole blood as it clots and quantify amplitude changes as a function of time. They both measure the interaction of platelets and coagulation factors, especially fibrinogen, and they assess whole blood clotting status to guide transfusion. However, in Rotem, the pin rotates. In TEG, the cup rotates. The clotting time in Rotem is equivalent to the reaction time in TEG. The clot formation time in Rotem is equivalent to the kinetics in TEG, and the maximum clot firmness in Rotem is equivalent to the maximum amplitude in TEG. In Rotem, the five principal tests are Intem, Heptem, Extem, Fibtem, and Aptem. The intem assay is performed with the activator elagic acid. Thus, the intem assay measures the intrinsic pathway of coagulation, like the activated partial thromboplastin time. Add a heparinase to the intem assay, and you get the heptem assay, which removes heparin interference. The extem assay is performed with tissue factor, and thus measures the extrinsic pathway of coagulation. Add a platelet inhibitor like cytochalasin D to the XTEM assay, and you get the FIBTEM assay, which measures the effects of fibrinogen. Add apotenin, a fibrinolysis inhibitor, to the XTEM assay, and you get the APTEM assay, which measures fibrinolysis. In summary, the ROTEM instrument performs thromboelastography. In ROTEM, the pin moves, not the cup. In ROTEM, the principal assays are Intem, Heptem, Extem, Fibtem, and Aptem. This ends our video on whole blood clotting assays, rotational thromboelastometry.